Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Nikita Gedda from Informatica GCS. Would like to present regarding how Power Center connects to Amazon Redshift. So the agenda of the meeting would be what is Power Exchange for Amazon Redshift and how Power Center connects to Amazon Redshift to read the data and also how to write the data to Amazon Redshift. So first of all, let's see what is Power Exchange for Amazon Redshift. Uh, we have a dedicated connector to connect to Amazon Redshift, which is Power Exchange for Amazon Redshift. Using this connector, you can either read the data or write the data to Amazon Redshift. You can import the objects from Amazon Redshift and create a mapping based upon your requirement with the flow, and then run the mapping to attain your requirement. So, if your Informatica server is hosted on an EC2 instance. In that case, you can use IAM authentication to connect to the Power Center client tools. And this, this authentication is used for secure and controlled access to Amazon Redshift resources. And now let's see how Power Center connects to Amazon Redshift to read the data. The Power Center integration service uses the Amazon Redshift connection to connect to Azure Redshift source. When you run the Amazon Redshift session, the Power Center integration service reads the data from Amazon Redshift source based on the workflow and Amazon Redshift connection configuration. The integration service connects and reads the data from Amazon S3, which is Amazon Simple Storage Service, through a TCP IP network. Now, the Power Center integration service stores the data in a staging location in your server machine. Here, Amazon S3 is a storage service in which you can copy the data from source and simultaneously move data to any target. The Power Center integration service uses a copy command that copies the data from Amazon S3 to the target. So now let's see how Power Center connects to Amazon Redshift to write the data. When you run Amazon Redshift session, the Power Center integration service writes the data to Amazon Redshift based on the workflow and the Amazon connection creation configuration. The Power Center integration service stores the data in um, the staging directory on your Power Center machine. The Power Center integration service then writes the data to uh, S3, Amazon S3, which is nothing but simple storage service through a TCP IP network. Amazon S3 is a storage service in which you can copy the data from uh, source and simultaneously move data to Amazon target. The Power Center integration service issues a copy command that copies data from Amazon S3 to the Amazon Redshift target table. So that is a basic understanding of the flow of Amazon Redshift, how it writes the data or how it reads the data. So we would love to hear from you. You can write us at supportvideos at informatica.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.